Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. I was never awarded the Employee of the Month award, but the last place I was working at, which was also the first place I was working at, as far as I know, never did that kind of thing. At least, I never saw any kind of Employee of the Month Wall of Fame. But it doesn't matter though, because I like doing some things. Employee of the Month is the episode where Spongebob and Squidward compete for the Krusty Krab Employee of the Month award. Like The Chaperone, this episode aired on March 8th, 2000 according to Wikipedia and is that episode that introduces the holiday of Annoy Squidward Day. This episode is also one of the most notable times where Spongebob is rude to Squidward. Rather intentionally, might I add. At this point, we've seen Squidward be nice to Spongebob in episode 10, Pizza Delivery, but here we get the opposite side of the spectrum where Spongebob is mean to Squidward. There aren't many times where this does happen, but for this episode, it is intentional since they are competing for the Employee of the Month award. Something like this also happened before back in Pizza Delivery, where Spongebob would not let Squidward eat the pizza even though Squidward was starving. Even though Spongebob was starving too, he never verbally stated it, and Spongebob didn't let Squidward eat the pizza because he was determined to deliver it to the customer. This could be seen as either Spongebob being mean to Squidward, or just Spongebob's devotion to the customer. In this episode, Spongebob is mean to Squidward mostly so he can keep his Employee of the Month status, and they were really trying to one-up each other here. There aren't many times where Spongebob is intentionally unkind to Squidward. It has happened from time to time, but not nearly as often as when Squidward was nice to Spongebob. While I would say something like this is a kind of interesting part of the Spongebob and Squidward dynamic, I will not deny that it got really bad at times. But with that in mind, let's watch this episode and see if this Spongebob and Squidward competition was actually good or not. So the episode starts up and Squidward thinks it's a noise Squidward day, even though that already happened. Wow, that's an actual holiday? I bet that's Squidward's least favorite day of the year. Spongebob says that the Employee of the Month judging starts today. Squidward says the award is nothing more than a sham because Mr. Krabs gives it to Spongebob so he'll work harder for no extra money, but Spongebob knows it's because he actually does work hard and says that having pride in his work makes it all worthwhile. Then Mr. Krabs runs up and warns Spongebob that Squidward might actually be on track to winning this month's Employee of the Month award. Spongebob starts to get worried and then gets sad when he imagines Squidward's face on the plaque. Spongebob tries to work harder, but has trouble with a Krabby Patty that's stuck to the grill. Then Squidward comes in, saying Spongebob's losing his mind, and then the patty gets shredded by the fan and splatters all over Squidward. He keeps trying to tell Spongebob that the award is nothing more than a snow job. Spongebob tries to say this isn't true, but Squidward tries to step on Spongebob's hat, only to hurt his foot since Spongebob has a brick of lead in his hat. Well, that was with a brick of lead. I'm sure it won't hurt that much if I do it with a regular brick. Ah! See? Squidward leaves the kitchen and gets splattered again. Spongebob starts to worry that the award has been faked the whole time, but then he imagines his previous awards as drill sergeants, with one of them telling Spongebob that Squidward does indeed want him to think just that. This makes Spongebob determined to win the award more than ever. Later that night, Spongebob is trying to find a way to sabotage Squidward so he won't win, and decides to destroy his alarm clock so he won't wake up. Yes, getting rid of the alarm clock makes sense, but Spongebob says that it's so Squidward won't wake up, which almost sounds like Squidward not waking up at all, which almost sounds like him dying in his sleep. Spongebob slips into Squidward's house, but before he can destroy the clock, Squidward comes into the bedroom, so he hides in Squidward's pillow. Squidward thinks the pillow feels weird, but shrugs it off. Right before Spongebob destroys the clock, Squidward finds out it's him, and as Spongebob destroys his alarm clock, he finds out that Squidward has a whole cabinet of backups. What one man needs that many alarm clocks? Spongebob and Squidward start to argue about the award, and Squidward says he's going to show how easy it is to win the award, even though Spongebob's won the award 26 times in a row. Spongebob leaves with them saying how early they'll be at work. Later on, they're watching each other to make sure they don't leave before one another. Why don't they both just leave right now and sleep outside the Krusty Krab? They'll both be on time that way. Squidward plays a lullaby on his clarinet, and Spongebob falls asleep. Squidward tries to sneak out, but falls into a hole dug by Spongebob. Spongebob confronts Squidward and then leaves him in there and goes to get some sleep. Squidward climbs out of the hole and tries to board Spongebob's door up to keep him from leaving. 
SpongeBob saws his way out of the door and runs to the Krusty Krab. An epic race occurs, with SpongeBob and Squidward setting several kinds of traps to slow each other down, including some traps we don't see them falling into. It comes to a boiling point where SpongeBob is tied to an anchor and Squidward is chained to a ship, and they're struggling to get to the Krusty Krab. Soon they stop struggling and call a truce to save their energy for work. Then they shake hands with the clear intention of breaking their truce, and then they start running to the Krusty Krab. Mr. Krabs arrives at the Krusty Krab and sees SpongeBob and Squidward arriving early. They push him out of the way to start working. I don't think pushing their boss to the side is going to increase either of their chances of winning Employee of the Month. SpongeBob and Squidward start overworking to impress Mr. Krabs, but end up doing more harm than good. Then they start using two spatulas to make as many Krabby Patties as possible, overflowing the Krusty Krab, causing it to explode. Krabby Patties rain from the sky, and the customers think they're free, but as Mr. Krabs is trying to get them to pay for the Krabby Patties, SpongeBob and Squidward start asking who's won the Employee of the Month award, and the episode ends. So who won the award? Who? So that was Employee of the Month, and I think that this is an awesome episode. This episode is so wacky with some awesome hijinks that I can't just not like it. I've always loved the three times where Squidward got splattered with the Krabby Patties from the fan. That always made me laugh so hard as a kid. All of the competitive scenes between Spongebob and Squidward were super entertaining to watch, whether they were racing to the Krusty Krab or scaring Mr. Krabs to death at the restaurant. I also love the part of Squidward's house where Squidward shows his warehouse inventory of alarm clocks. But now, it's time to talk about some other scenes. I don't have anything major to say about this episode, but I do have a few smaller things I want to mention. This episode introduces Annoy Squidward Day, a holiday where the title speaks for itself. I remember when I was young, I thought that Annoy Squidward Day was on January 15th. This is because the blank frame on the wall says January. However, when I grew up, I saw that everybody was saying Annoy Squidward Day was on February 15th, not January 15th. I can understand why people say that. The calendar of SpongeBob's show seems to only have 28 days, and February is the only month of the year with 28 days. But since the Employee of the Month judging was clearly for January of that year, that's what made me think January 15th is Annoy Squidward Day. And I didn't think voting for Employee of the Month for January at the end of February made much sense. However, looking closely at the calendar, you can see how f***ed up the dates and weeks are compared to a standard Gregorian calendar. The close-ups seem to show that there aren't seven days a week. To back this up, there's a calendar from episode 310, Ghoul Fools, that shows that there are five weeks with six days a week for the month of October, and it's implied that the weeks go from Sunday to Friday. No Saturday? All this feels like Bikini Bottom either doesn't follow a standard week or year, or the actual calendar manufacturers don't give a shit about making proper calendars. But since this blank frame clearly says January, I always stood by a Noise Squidward Day being on January 15th. And after going on Encyclopedia Spongebobia and seeing that it acknowledged the debate of this holiday being on January 15th or February 15th, the top of the page officially states that the holiday is on January 15th. So there you have it. I knew it! Yes! Additionally, I've always wondered who would have won the award, especially since they both destroyed the Krusty Krab. Personally, I think that Spongebob would have won because he put his own money into the cash register during his and Squidward's competition. Those are the only things I wondered about the episode. The Employee of the Month frames appeared a couple times after this, like episodes 157, The Original Fry Cook, and 170, Breath of Fresh Squidward from Season 5, as well as in Spongebob's house during the Spongebob Squarepants movie, and I do wish that they would be shown again sometime in the future. I'm sure the writers could think of some way to implement them again, but that's beside the point. This next point is just another me thing. At one time, I thought that the part where Spongebob and Squidward overworking at the Krusty Krab happened earlier in the episode, and I don't know why. Then at some point, I figured that I probably had a dream where that scene was earlier in the episode. I know that was pointless, I just wanted to say that. Also, fun fact, even though Spongebob said he had been employee of the month 26 months in a row, there's actually 43 frames on the wall. Back to the important points, I also feel like this is one of the most entertaining instances of the Spongebob Squidward dynamic. Spongebob started being more unkind to Squidward than he normally is. 
This is obviously because he started to get pissed off with Squidward saying the award is a sham and saying he'll be getting the Employee of the Month award this time, which drove them to start competing with each other. It's also another time to show Spongebob with a bit of an ego since you don't see that often in the modern seasons. It's always nice when they break away from the norms of the series and decide to switch things up a bit, and this is a prime example of that. I really love this episode through and through. There are so many awesome moments, and I love how Spongebob and Squidward bounced off each other in this episode. Their competition is so entertaining and always gets a laugh out of me. There's very little wrong with this episode, and it's just a great watch throughout. It's an episode I always loved watching as a kid, and still to this day. Employee of the Month is a great episode. It's one of the best uses of the Spongebob Squidward dynamic in my opinion, because of all the crazy hijinks I have in between them. There's so many funny moments here, and almost none of them ever got old to me, no matter how many times I watched this episode. But this does make me wonder what it would be like to be Employee of the Month. Even though I don't think my job offers it, I'm going to ask my boss about it the next time I go in. The next day. My boss was pissed when I asked that, so now I'm on probation and my pay was cut by 90% for the rest of the season.